Today I'm going to do a quick video on the relationship between the, the new Form 7200, which is advanced payments for credits related to the COVID-19. That 7200 form, you can file as many of them in a quarter as you want to, but we need to know how that plays with our quarterly federal payroll tax return. So what I thought I might do is just real quickly, so I'm going to draw a line and we're going to have quarters. So this is 1-1 one, one, and this is 12-31. Prior to, and this is 3-31. So from the period of here through the end of the year, we're going to be able to file a form. It's a new form, 7200. It's the advance payment for employers that have credits that are in excess of their payroll deposits. And again, they can file them as frequently as they want to. In, in another video, uh, I do a actual calculation of the form and I show you like pay period. I do one on 410, I do another one on 424, two weeks later, and I show you in there how they accumulate. So in that, here's what happened was that we have on the forms 7200, on 410, I filed a 7200. Then I filed a, another one on 424. So I now have two in the second quarter. What happens is on the form 7200, when I, each time I fill one out, I mark whether it's first, second, or third quarter. Whenever we get to the end of the quarter, I'm gonna draw a line down here. When we get to the end of the quarter, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these total of these 7200s and we're going to put them on a 940 to reconcile. And so that would be reconciled each quarter. Starting in July 1st, when we file a form 7200, we're going to start over with zeros for that, for the beginning number to kind of step back here. Whenever, like for example, when I did the 410 in the example I did in the, the actual calculating the form, that was the very first 7200 we had. So at that point in time, it only reflected that pay period. Then when I did the 424, I had to add, I had to accumulate according to the instructions, the 410 payroll with the 424 payroll. And that just kept accumulating. But once I get to the end of the quarter, June 30th, I'm gonna file the 941 and then on the 7200, I'm going to start over. And then when I get to the end of the third quarter, whenever I get to September, then for the second quarter here, or third quarter, excuse me, we're going to do another reconciliation. And then the same thing again in the fourth quarter. The nice thing about this, you can file the 7200 in any quarter as many times as you want to file it. Now, you have to first have a refund. If the it says on line eight of the form 7200, if your calculations come up with zero or negative, do not file the form. The 7200 is not required to be filed. But with today's crisis going on, I, a small employer, I need my money now so that I can make payroll, so that I can pay, stay in business. Because the main purpose of one of the credits is the employee retention credit. There's also the expanded sick leave credit, and, and that can be sizable. It also includes the Expanded Family and Medical Act. So all those credits, we can get advanced payments or advanced re refunds on the 7200 and not wait to the end of the quarter. But each quarter, we have to reconcile. And then at the end of the year, we then will reconcile totally. I use the example of 940 here. It's for the 940, the 943, the 944, the CT1. So all those would apply. I just did the example with 940. I, I think most importantly, we as small business, we need the cash flow. And this is a real good assistant in cash flowing. I hope this kind of helped as an overview. Again, I have a, two different presentations on the 7200 that you may want to see the links below. I also have several others about the individual credits. And finally, as an example, this second quarter, 941, is not out yet. They've got to have major changes to the 941. They're going to have, when they get to the end of the year, they're going to have major changes to the end of the year summer. We're going to have new instructions. So stay tuned, subscribe if you would like, and that way whenever we change or we get instructions 
for the second quarter. We get a new form. I'll be back. Hope it helped.